God be the glory in Jesus' mighty name. I honor each and every one of you and I bless the Lord for each and every one of you. You all are the blessedness of the Father and the glory of His name. And I honor and I love you all. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe there was a time past I shared a word concerning the United Kingdom um, bidding Rishi Sunak goodbye. And the reason why I basically shared that word was because it all came from a revelation that the Father gave. And we've seen that revelation began to play out. So I'm going to basically share it again so we understand the fullness of that vision in itself. Because I know that for what God is about to do, I thank God because it's happening real quickly. In the vision I was sharing, I said I saw Rishi Sunak and, Prime, and then Boris Johnson. They were sat down and what they were sitting on was like, uh, you know, when you're basically on a roller coaster. Yeah. You know, you sit down on the seat and you have that braces. You put it, you know, right, right around you. That was what they were sitting on. But the dimension of where we were at was on a ship. So it was on a ship, basically. And on that ship, I saw uh, the then uh, Home Secretary, Suela Breverman. And I was helping to understand that in that moment in time, it was a place where Rishi Sunak, Boris Johnson, and then Suela Breverman, for some reason, the ship was rocked to and fro, and the three of them, they fell into the ocean. So as they fell into the ocean, what happened was, I, I was just encouraged, like I had to just dive because I wanted to see if I could save the three of them because the way they fell was not really good. So upon diving into the ocean, you know, Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak, they were still seated, right? It was only uh, as, as, the, as, the, as the whole seat, you know, where they were sat was sinking quite deep. The only person that I could reach out to was Suela Braverman. I was able to hold her hand and pull her up and throw her right back onto the ship. You know, the strength of the Lord just came from nowhere. <laughs> you can try to think about that dimension, you know, holding her underwater and having to throw her back on the ship. So it was a place where she landed on the ship. But the truth about it is I could not save Rishi Sunak and I could not save Boris Johnson. They sank all the way to the bottom of the ocean. But then I was able to swim back up. And as I swam all the way back up, I saw Suela Braverman. She was back on the ship, but you know, she was basically speaking something totally different from everybody. So we can see how that played out in 2023 because we see Suela Braverman, eventually she was sacked from the job. Do you see that dimension? She was removed from the what? From the premiership of Rishi Sunak. And as we can see in that dimension, she began to speak something totally different from who? From Rishi Sunak, basically exposing what Rishi Sunak had been doing. So you can see how that in itself literally played out. So I want to help to understand the dimension of what? Of Rishi Sunak and what? And Boris Johnson. So United Kingdom, I want you to be ready because you know why? Boris Johnson is coming back onto the scene and he's coming back to help who? Rishi Sunak. So they're going to invite him back. You know, they want to use him to basically, you know, recall voters, to basically be, to love the conservative government once again. So this is the reason why you can see in that vision, R R Rishi Sunak and who? And Boris Johnson together. You can see. So they paired them together to campaign together in order to bring about what? To bring about a new what? A new conservative government. So for them to be in power. But this is what the father is saying concerning that vision. So for them basically inviting Boris Johnson back, this is the end of what? This marks the end of Rishi Sunak. So the moment you see Boris Johnson come back onto the scene with the conservative government, it marks the end of Rishi Sunak. Yes, because like I've been sharing, you know, since 2022 and helping us to understand that what? The premiership of Rishi Sunak has ended. So it ended the day that prophetic word went out. It's just a matter of time that the word in itself plays out. So for them calling Boris Johnson back onto the scene, this is the end. So you can see what I said. As soon as what? Boris Johnson sat with Rishi Sunak on that and he sank to the bottom of the sea. It helped to understand that what? Boris Johnson is here to help what? Rishi Sunak completely bringing him to an end. Do you see that? Yeah. So the return of Boris to the what? To, to the conservative is to bring 
Rishi Sunak to a complete end. So this is where I have been encouraging majority of us to prepare for a new government because a new government is at hand. Can you see that? The old is passing away. And this is why I shared concerning the tree you remember the tree that was cut down that made news all over and i was helping us to understand the very understanding of that dream because this helps you to know that this is daniel chapter 4 playing out that the lord has cut down the conservative government yes the tree he has cut it down and in daniel chapter 4 it says place a stump yes so they were they placed they said leave the stump in the ground but something was placed over it yes so for a time this is where the father is saying they are not going to be in power for quite a long time until they repent of their ways so this is the encouragement the father is bringing you just for you to understand what is about to happen in government in this hour so get ready united kingdom because the hour of your salvation is here because the lord has already prepared a david who is coming onto the scene for what for what the conservative government has done oppressing the people what for what they have done they have what they have caused the, a lot of people to suffer while they are enriching their pockets so you can see what they have been doing is they have been making a name for themselves disregarding the lives of the people because they are not there for the people no they are not there for you they are only there for themselves so the reason why they are basically trying to hold on to power is to make a name for themselves so you can see the consistency of how they've been changing government is another person trying to make a name for themselves it has never been about the people so that is why you can see the oppression that is manifesting in the lives of the people so for the david that has been prepared he's here because of the people he has heard because the father says i have heard the word I have heard the cry of my people for they have been oppressed in Egypt and I have come down to save them. So this is your government coming and this is the hour that the restoration is hitting the United Kingdom once again. As you can see, because I shared in that same prophetic word, which I will basically try to attach to this video, where I was helping to understand that the Lord is going to begin to pick them one after the other. He's going to pick them one after the other, picking them one after the other, like a hawk or an eagle picking its prey from the ground. And you can see that begin to play out as majority of them are resigning and absconding and they're basically having by-elections. So the word of the Lord does not return to him void. So this is why I said, united kingdom once again be prepared amen because the hour has come for a new government to be established in jesus name god bless you you are the blessedness of the father and i love you all so very much amen